Hello everyone, welcome to our video tutorial on setting up an AWS EKS cluster using Terraform. In this video, we will walk you through the process step-by-step -step creation and enabling you to provision your own Kubernetes cluster on AWS efficiently. So before we dive in, the first section is about prerequisites. Before we begin, let's ensure we have all the prerequisites in place. For this tutorial, you will need an AWS account with appropriate permissions, Terraform installed on your local machine, and the AWS CLI configured with access keys. So if you do not worry if you do not have all these things installed, I have created a separate videos on how to create all of them I'll make sure to drop the link to those videos in the description box below. You can check them later. Now let's start the, with the overview of the Terraform scripts. So we will start by discussing the Terraform scripts we will be using the, in this tutorial. And our script defines the configuration for the EKS cluster, including its name, version, and other parameters. We'll also be using I am role to grant necessary permissions to the EKS cluster and that will be done automatically by our Terraform script. So now if you're wondering where are the scripts, you can hover over to my GitHub uh, location and here I've created a folder called Terraform. Get inside this and you will see three files located. One is eks.tf, provider.tf and vpc.tf. So before you starting this video, I would highly recommend you to go through the Terraform modules that I'm using. So for example, in, in this uh, example, I'm using EKS Terraform module. So this is the official documentation from the Terraform itself. And this is the module that I'm trying to use. So if you want to go through the source code, I would highly recommend you to go through this GitHub repository. Let me open that for you. This is the official repository and here they have placed all the different files that are required for the module. So in this, if you're looking which one should you go through, I would highly recommend you to go through examples. And here there are different modules. Uh, I would uh, go with, uh, you know, um, EKS managed node groups. And here I would go through all the different things that we have, for example, main.tf. So if you see, go through this particular block of code, so what I've done is I've taken the example from this module and I've customized it and I've removed few things which are not required for this demonstration. So uh, this is how it looks at the end, right? So first, let me walk you through uh, three scripts that I have. Please ignore the other files that you're seeing, only concentrate on Terraform directory. So we have three files. One is provider.tf, other one is vpc.tf and eks.tf. What I'm trying to do is, uh, for creation of EKS, I'm creating a new VPC along with subnets and all those things, right? So I'm not going to use the default VPC because uh, every time that I want to work on Kubernetes cluster, uh, I will just come over this, uh, come into this directory and I'll run Terraform scripts so that EKS cluster will be up and running for me. And later I will start my practice, right? So instead of, uh, you know, using the same VPC and deleting it, so this will help me in uh, you know, uh, better coding as well. First, let me explain the provider.tf. I have defined uh, some local variables for my use case, uh, but it is better to use variables.tf and uh, you know, variables.tf was in your uh, production grade Terraform scripts. But this is uh, helping me out in this demonstration, so I'm keeping it as is. So in locals, I've defined region US East one, and uh, I'm, I'm going to use uh, the name of the cluster as a monkey cloud cluster VPC cider. I'm using this is a cider block that is 10.123.0.0 slash 16. I'm using AWS East uh, US East one A and one B as my availability zones. And these are my public subnet cider. And this is my uh, private subnet cider blocks. And uh, this is my intra subnet cider blocks. And these are the tags that I'm going to use this uh, use in this particular demonstration. And in the provider.tf, I need to define the provider module. And uh, this is what uh, I've, uh, you know, defined. I'm using AWS provider because that is what we are interacting with. 
and region i'm defining it as us east 1a or you can also use uh, you know append or you can also try to uh, initialize it by the locals itself but however this is just enough for my use case okay uh, with that being said let's move on to vpc.tf where we are creating the vpc itself so here also i'm using vpc module just like eks module i'm this is the source of the vpc you can go through this as well and this is the version of the module that I'm trying to use. So name I'm getting from the local variable that we had in the provider.tf. Cider also I'm doing the same. Basically wherever you see uh, this local, uh, I'm initializing uh, them by by uh, by from the uh, provider.tf. All right. So ASIS I'm uh, doing the same. Private subnets, public subnets, intra subnets. I'm gra grabbing the values from the provider.tf where I've defined the local variables so uh, it is asking uh, should i enable nat gateway for you I've, and i have set it as true because i need the nat gateway as we have the private subnets and our eks cluster will be in the private subnet and uh, i i'm gonna use these tags and that's all this is simple vpc uh, setup for your you know eks cluster now let's go to the main code that is eks.tf itself so here I'm trying to use the EKS module that we just saw and the cluster name I'm uh, naming it as a Munkin cloud cluster and it is getting appended from the tab provider dot TF, um, you know, local file, local variable. So uh, should should the cluster endpoint be publicly accessible? I'm setting it as true because I want it to be publicly accessible. And uh, these are a few add ons that a cluster needs in the EKS. So I'm defining them here. And VPC ID, subnet IDs, and control plane subnet IDs, I'm grabbing it from the uh, local variable that we had set. So now here I'm defining the EKS managed node groups. And if you see here, uh, the AMI type that I'm using is this one, and the instance type is m5.large. And I'm attaching this primary security group to uh, the um, cluster, and that is set to true. Now, along with this, I'm also creating EKS managed group. Uh, this is what it is and the configuration looks like this. So I'm setting the minimum size as one, maximum size as two and the desired size uh, when the cluster is running, it's always one that, uh, that I'm setting. And this is the instance types and the capacity type is spot, right? So that I uh, I'm uh, utilizing the spot instances. And this is one of the configuration where I've set it, I've set the tag for my understanding. Okay, so this is what you need uh, for the um, you know creation of EKS cluster. Now let's dive into the um, you know complete end-to-end uh, -end demonstration. First, we need to navigate to the directory containing our Terraform scripts. For example, I'm here in EKS Terraform Jenkins. I need to be inside Terraform. So what I'll do is I'll just say cd Terraform. And now I'm inside, sorry, CD Terraform. Now I'm inside Terraform directory. Now let me clear the screen and just I'll do ls hyphen lrt and you should be seeing three Terraform files. Okay. So uh, in this, uh, what next we'll do is um, we will run Terraform in it to initialize the Terraform configuration. So what I'll do is Terraform init, Terraform in it. So what this is going to do is this step will download the necessary providers and initializes the working directory, right? So if you see here, it is downloading all the things that are required for this particular uh, demonstration. For example, the plugins for the modules, all those things will be installed as part of running your Terraform in it. And once you run that, you should see this message called Terraform has been successfully initialized. If you do not get this message, there is something that is wrong in behind the scenes. And you should also observe one more thing. Before we uh, dived into this demonstration, we only had three files that is EKS provider and VPC. But now if you see, we have few few more uh, files are added that is log.hcl and terraform dot terraform folder itself, modules and you know providers, all those things are downloaded. So now if you're wondering how this got created, that was as part of the initialization of Terraform that is by running Terraform in it. Okay, so with that, let me clear the screen for you. Now what we'll do, uh, uh, let's review the execution plan by running Terraform plan. So what is this command is doing is, 
uh, Terraform plan. Let me uh, you know explain it to you. The plan will show us what Terraform intends uh, you know to do, such as creating, updating, or deleting resources. So if you have multiple things, if you see here, uh, the it will show you how what are the things that will be created and what what are the things that will be deleted as part of this Terraform scroll code. Plus indicates that it is going to create. If there is any minus here, that means it is going to uh, delete the resources. And there is another uh, th uh, thing called as um, uh, you know we use that symbol called approximate, right? And that will be displayed in yellow color, and that means there will be some changes for the script that you have made, right? So if you see here, expected length of the name prefix to be in range. Uh, so it is saying. Um, the name should the, the name that I'm using in the eks.tf is pretty large. So what I'm gonna do is instead of uh, a, a monk in cloud, I'm just going to use M AMC cluster and uh, let me save this and let me uh, rerun the Terraform plan. Okay, now if you see uh, that uh, you know error got disappeared and this is just an uh, you know warning message uh, I'm gonna ignore this for now there is nothing to worry and I'm gonna clear the screen okay so with that said uh, now let's apply the changes by running terraform apply right so I am gonna do terraform apply and if you enter again it is going to give you the plan that you have and it, it, you need to type in yes or a no or to continue so uh, Terraform will prompt you to confirm the changes before proceeding. So type yes to continue. So what I'll do is I'll just type in yes and I'll hit enter. So once you do that, I can sit back and relax as a Terraform provisions the EKS cluster and associated resources. So at the end, once the process is complete, Terraform will output information about the newly created resource including the EKS cluster, endpoint, and configuration. So it will take more than 10 minutes for the Terraform to create the EKS cluster because it's a lengthy procedure. Even if you go through the UI, it will take more than 10 minutes to create a cluster itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this video right here and I'm gonna I will come back once the uh, you know Terraform has created my EKS cluster. All right, if you see here, the VPC module and the EKS module are created right now. And if you see, we have received a message called apply complete resources added is 62, zero changed and zero destroyed. So with this, congratulations, you have successfully created AWS EKS cluster using Terraform. This is not going to end here. So let us go back to our AWS console and see if everything is in place or not. So let me go back to my AWS console. And if I go to EKS cluster, Elastic Kubernetes Service, and I should be seeing a cluster with the name among in cloud cluster. And if you see it is uh, the status is running and this is the Kubernetes version and the support type is this one and provider is EKS. If you want more details about the cluster, you can go here. This is the API server endpoint. This is the OpenID Connect provider URL and it took 19 minutes for creation. Sometimes it takes 19, sometimes it takes, you know, 10 minutes and it depends on the, you know, type and uh, cluster im role is this one so this is uh, getting created dynamically as part of creating a cluster itself and if you go to uh, resource you should see uh, these details like queue proxy and all those things compute we created a, a managed uh, group and this is the details about that if you see amc cluster wg if you go back to your eks code and this will be in your last line of code right so that is what we created here if you see this is uh sorry not this this one eks spanish group so this is also in place right and uh, you go if you go back to the networking this is what we created let's also verify that uh, you know um vpc and all and if you see all these things are in place now let's go back to our vpc and see if uh, we have the vpcs created or not okay to do that what i'll do is i'll just say vpc and i'll open that and you should be seeing a vpc with the name uh, monk in cloud let's verify that 
uh, if I go to VPCs, if you see here, it is also named as VPC um, among in cloud cluster and this is the CIDR. And if you see, this is the um, VPC ID and also it is going to create the subnets. If you see here, uh, these are the six subnets that we created and this is in place already. Now, if let's also verify if the uh, nodes are up and running. So to do that, let's go to EC2. If I go to instances, there is one uh, uh, EC2 instance that is running with the name AMC cluster WG. This is as part of managed uh, uh, group and this has created. Okay. So now let's try to create a, a simple, uh, you know, um, Nginx pod and see how it goes. So to interact with EKS cluster, you need to run a command. Let me run that here by clearing the screen so that it will be easy for you to understand. And the command is AWS EKS update cube config and the region is US East one. And the name of the cluster is a monkey cloud cluster. So provided that you have uh, EKS CTL and um, uh, cube CTL installed on your local machine, you can run this command so if you do not know if you do not have the scripts to in install all of them i'll make sure to uh, you know uh, jot down everything in a github repository readme file and i'll attach it so that you can also you know install those um, you know tools on your local machine okay so if i run this this is this is just to update the cube config so if i just run this command if you see here it, it updated the context to this arn and this is the ARN that is uh, used and um, it has updated the config for us. So now uh, let's say kubectl get pods as there are zero pods running it will show that th there are zero pods running. If you see no resources found in this default namespace. So what we'll do is we'll create a, a pod with the name kubectl. Um, I'll say kubectl run. Uh, I'll just say hyphen hyphen image is equal to nginx and I'll also name that as nginx. Let's hit enter and see how it goes. If you see here pod with the name nginx has been created. So now let me run the same command that is kubectl get pods and you should be seeing the pods that is running and that is nginx. Okay, so this is how you create uh, the EKS cluster using the Terraform script. And also uh, you can, uh, if you, after your demonstration or your practice, what you can do is you can just run Terraform destroy and sorry, it should be destroy hyphen hyphen auto hyphen approve. So this will, you know, um, this will delete the resources that you just created. So there was some typo here. It should be double hyphen. Okay. Now if I hit enter, all the things will be destroyed um, uh, like the way it created. So uh, that's uh, a wrap up for our tutorial on setting up an EKS cluster using Terraform. Hope uh, you found this video helpful in understanding the process of creating infrastructure, specifically EKS using Terraform. So feel free to explore further customization and optimization for your EKS cluster. So this code is not production ready. So make sure uh, you just tweak a little bit. This is just a base infrastructure and your code might be uh, different, uh, different in the production use cases. So make sure to customize it as per your requirement. So feel free to explore and uh, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. And in the upcoming video, I'll also show the same procedure, how you can create uh, EKS cluster using Terraform and also by using Jenkins. Stay tuned for that. And if you want that tutorials to be done very quickly, I'm targeting a like of 125 comments on this video so that I'll make sure to record that and upload it as soon as possible. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.